Hi guys, uh, sorry it's been so long. Um, I just haven't been seeing movies in theaters. There isn't really much I care about or stuff that I don't feel like I just rent. But two reviews for you today, so I hope you're ready for it and I hope you actually still watch these. Um, first up, The Evil Dead Remake by, I can't pronounce his name, but, and I'm too lazy to Google it. So you know what I'm talking about though, Evil Dead Remake. Let's do a summary. This is a remake of, well, reboot. They're kind of, eh. so this is a uh, reboot of the Sam Raimi classic, Sam Raimi Bruce Campbell classics of the Evil Dead trilogy, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and Army of Darkness. Um, it's, it's something that people wish Hollywood wouldn't do since they're so well loved and they're such cult classics, but they did, and it actually wasn't bad. Um, the story is about Mia and her brother, I forgot his name, is it Joseph? What was it? It obviously wasn't that important. But her brother and a small group of their close friends um, who take her out to this cabin in the woods. And they try to get her to kick her drug habit. Right? This is like her third time trying to kick it. So they figure, we'll keep her in this cabin. She cannot leave until we feel like she can and we trust her. Well, they find the Necrocomicon... Necrocomicon, on. I don't know how to pronounce it. They find that book in the basement, and guess what? They read it, because they're dumb. Um, Lou Taylor Pucci's character, I forget his name, he reads it. He It even says on the book, do not read, do not speak, do not see, or do not hear. And it's like, dude. And he does it anyway, because he's a dumb shit. So it awakens the deadites. They come in, Mia gets raped by a tree, and then she is a deadite, basically. And then it wrecks havoc from there on, and you need to see it, really, because I don't really want to spoil anything else. Um, I liked it. Overall, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a pretty decent reboot, actually. And given that Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi both gave it their blessing, it, it led up to a lot of hype. And it also was a good thing, because otherwise it would have been like, well... So I went to see this based on the fact that I do enjoy Evil Dead. Um, Diablo Cody did rewrites for it, and the fact that it's hailed as one of the goriest movies of this generation. Which I will say, let's get this out of the way, I did not find it that gory. I was actually disappointed. I wanted more gore. It wasn't that shocking to me. Um, I probably watched too many French and Japanese movies to really... I have a gore tolerance. It wasn't that bad. I didn't find it horrible. A lot of people do. I know it's going to have a lot of infamous scenes, like the Saw movies do. It's going to have the bathroom scene. It's going to have uh, the cutter scene. It's going to have several scenes that are going to be infamous and everyone's going to know them. Um, but I personally didn't find it that gory. The acting in this is okay. Uh, the, mean, the, late, the, 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 the lead, Mia, Jane Levy, who is on a ABC show I've never seen, um, she was really good. She was fucking phenomenal, actually. She was the best actor out of this entire group. Um, her brother is Shiloh Fernandez, who did really kind of shitty. I don't think he was that great. But then again, he was the atypical stereotype from a horror movie. Um, and then the two friends, well, his girlfriend, their other girlfriend, who I don't remember who she is, and then Lou Taylor Pucci, who did okay. I do love Lou Taylor Pucci, though, so maybe I'm biased. Um... But yeah, it was it was good. I really liked the direction of it. I liked the homages to the original trilogy. If you look at if you're a fan and you watch it, there's so many little things that you'll see and you're just like, oh my god, and that's what you want. I really love the fact that they tried to use as much practical effects as they could. I really like the fact that it was a Cabin in the Woods movie, and it did it pretty well, actually. Um Oh, oh, unpopular opinion. This is kind of related. Uh the original trilogy I've seen, I own the last two. Here's an unpopular opinion. I fucking hate Army of Darkness. Um, I am prepared for anybody to be angry at that. I don't know why you would be, though. I think it's a piece of shit. I don't get why it's the cult classic. I really like Evil Dead 2 is my favorite. Uh, just a little tidbit there to make people angry, because I, I like that. Uh, it amuses me. So... Evil Dead Reboot. Go see it. If you're a horror fan, especially if you're a gore fan, go see it. If you love the Evil Dead movies, go fucking see it. You're not gonna regret it. I don't think you will, at least. Uh, I, I give it a 3.5 out of 5, or a 7 out of 10. It's worth it. It's a one of the way better reboots, and, um, yeah. I liked it.
So I will do a review right after this. I have to edit. I don't edit. <laughs> Jokes. Um, I have to put this up and do other things. But thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe if you like. And um, yeah.